Hello, my loves. I am so sorry that this is coming out late. I've got six more signs for the February monthly to do. I'm tackling it one thing at a time. I'm getting my life together. So, guys, this is going to be for February 2020. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay? So, we're going to do a quick shuffle here on camera. Go over a couple quick announcements. And then we're going to get into the reading. Okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. What messages do we have for my Scorpios for February 2020? What love messages? What clarity and guidance? What advice do my Scorpios need to hear today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Okay, guys. So if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, uh, Palo Santo, sage, uh, you know, crystals. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. It's a huge giveaway on the first of every month. If you are currently a subscriber and you did not see the video for the announcement for the winners for February, it will be listed in the description box below. Check it out because uh, you only have till the last day of the month to claim your winnings, okay? So, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the reading, my readings post and when that, you know, video for the uh, winners comes out too, okay? Um, so guys, I am not taking personal readings at the moment, but you can still visit my website to view my tarot collection. Um, <clears throat> I do have links to purchase on there if you see anything that you like. Today we're going to be using the Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. I love this deck. Oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous deck. Um, and guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about Instagram, so if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box below. Ooh, Scorpio, two of cups. I like it. Okay, so we have a connection that might be moving into deeper water, maybe getting engaged, moving in together. Okay, uh, something is definitely moving into deeper water. So in the recent past, we have the fool. Okay, so we may have taken a risk. Okay, taken that leap of faith with our person. So here we have the six of swords, leaving the bullshit behind, the knight of swords, moving forward. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, and the Six of Cups. Okay, so maybe some of us left, um, you know, a spouse and children behind, or some of us really shut the door on, um, you know, on an ex that you that you were very committed to or stuck to. Okay, Scorpio. So we definitely left a, left a situation behind, a left behind. The past is in the past. And with the Four of Wands, we are moving on to a soulmate twin flame connection. I like it. Okay, so guys, we have uh, the King of Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy, sitting tall on his throne, King of Cups, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian, Energy, with the Five of Cups, the Death card, Scorpionic, Energy, and the Eight of Swords. So guys, what I'm feeling here is that emotionally you guys went through some type of rebirth, sometimes some type of transformation. So you left the past behind, you did your mourning, you did your grieving, you were, you know, all caught up in this, stuck in your head about it. But I'm feeling that you have overcome these challenges. I feel like this King of Wands helped you overcome that challenge, okay? So whatever challenges you were facing to emotionally disconnect and get over what you went through with this ex, you know, your person has helped you get through it. So in the near future here, we have the Justice card, Libra Energy. So this is good karma coming in. This is, you know, reaping what you sow. If you if you have a lot of good karma in the past, okay, um, you know, because karmics, I feel, get a bad rap sometimes. Listen, we're all karmics. None of us are perfect. We've all done something at one point or, in, in, or another that we have to pay a price for, okay? So karmics help teach us a lesson. So what I'm feeling though here is that we have someone coming in that's out to do right by us, okay? So, you know, if you, whatever good you've put in, they're coming to bring it back. Because with this 10 of swords and this ace of coins, we hit a 10 and now we have a new beginning. So where there was this horrible ending where you may have felt that, you know, everything was really, 
just against you and, and a lot of pain and a lot of suffering in your life. Now we have this beautiful new beginning happening here. We have this Ace of Wands. There's a lot of passion and prosperity here. Queen of Cups. We've got the King and the Queen of Cups on the board here. We've got a true soul pair, a true soul tie. And with the Three of Cups, again, announcing an engagement here announcing an engagement i feel for a lot of you you're going to be moving into very like way deeper waters with your person that you are with i feel like things are going to get more serious now scorpio this could be you or your person you know maybe it's your person that had to leave the past behind and you are the one that helped your person get through this so with the full card here we have the five of wands someone here was very conflicted in the near past about taking this leap of faith we have the six of swords with the three of cups someone here needed to leave the past behind it was becoming kind of like a third party energy because the ghost of this person was just like sitting on top of your heads but someone here is moving forward moving towards that eng engagement celebrating life a little bit more we have the knight of swords here aquarius gemini libra energy here someone may have regretted something in the past maybe they they feel like they left something too quickly um or they felt guilty you know but they're moving forward from that tell me about this queen of pentacles here the hermit we've got virgo energy here someone here is withdrawing withdrawing from this past connection with the six of cups here they're withdrawing from it you know the seven of cups here this person may have experienced a lot of confusion um a lot of hurt a lot of pain because of what happened to them in the past but they are moving forward okay tell me about the four of wands yeah they, they're moving towards a more successful connection the person that is meant for them spirit tell me about this king of wands strength card this person i told you they came in and they gave you a lot of strength this person really helped you king of cups nine of pentacles here so i am feeling scorpio that you're looking very peaceful very independent you're not clinging to anything you're ready to take this leap of faith okay and that's huge because we have that emotional transformation here from the X with the Six of Cups, okay? From the Six of Cups, I feel like emotionally someone here had to disconnect from this X. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Yeah, this could have been a marriage that was lost, a family that was lost. Someone here had to get over that pain. It, they were very stuck in that situation. Yeah, they were stuck in this ending. They were stuck in this ending. It, it was bad. It may have been a really nasty divorce or a really nasty breakup. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. But yeah, someone here held on. Someone here held on and helped the other person overcome and leave that toxicity behind. Spirit, tell me about the Justice card, please. We have the devil, okay? So, you know, it could be a karmic soulmate that we were leaving behind. It could it could have been, all right? Yeah, I mean, it is. <laughs> Let me just put it with the devil and the justice card. That could definitely be something karmic uh, that we, that's being left behind. But with the ace of pentacles, we have a new beginning from this heartache. We've got a new prosperity coming in, a new offer coming in to heal that pain. Tell me about this Ten of Swords, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So I am feeling that this king, this king is right here, ready to help, um, you know, heal, to give you that strength, okay? Maybe you were very guarded and, and uptight and cold, and this person came in and brought warmth to your life because we've got a sword and, and wand there that's hot and cold, you know what I'm saying? So this person is bringing warmth into your life. Too many cards. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Wands, please. We have Temperance here. You see, it's healing communication, Sagittarian energy. This person has come in like a healing angel. Their words just soothe you or you soothe your person's words. This can be vice versa, guys, okay? Tell me about this Queen of Cups justice okay so i feel that we're leaving a karmic to move towards another soulmate to move towards real happiness here with the sun card under the deck tell me about this three of cups the tower okay so i feel what i'm getting is a surprise proposal here that's what i'm getting with the tower and the three of cups of the surprise proposal so let's see one more card on the three of cups and the tower the five of pentacles okay so that's not good Or, you know, let's see. Let's pull one more. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is it ending this way? Uh, 
Okay, so maybe what I'm feeling here is that this person is moving forward. The engagement is happening because this person is coming to the sudden realization that this past situation is not going to come together again. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy again. Is someone here realizing that there's a third party? No. Interesting. Tell me about this Three of Cups, please. Four of Swords. Someone here... needs a rest from thinking about this other person i feel like this is it this is the grand finale of the healing because someone here this queen of wands is a representation of the other person which i feel is the x okay so someone here needs a rest and it's an epiphany that this is not going to come back together with this other person so perhaps they go to move forward let's clarify this real quick spirit Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Is this a third party situation? Is this connection going to end or is it going to move forward? I'm getting two totally different stories here. Yeah, okay. No, I was right. See, someone here is putting the work into being independent and releasing themselves from that past energy with the Nine of Pentacles to move towards their new love. So I was right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, guys, I feel like, you know, so this connection is going to move forward, maybe even a surprise engagement because someone here has truly released. They have released the past. Okay. All right, guys. So if this resonated, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. Drop a comment. Let me know how this resonated. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.